the first reading from Isaiah. The word that Isaiah, son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem, in days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house, shall be established at the highest of the mountains, and shall be raised above all the hills, all the nations shall stream to it. Many people shall come and say, Come, let us go to the mountains of the Lord, to the house of God of Jacob, that he may teach us his ways, and that we may walk in his path. For out of science shall go forth instructions, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem, he shall judge between the nations, and shall abide for many people. They shall beat their swords into blowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up swords against nations, neither shall they learn war any more. A house of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord, the word of the Lord. We'll read Psalm 122 responsibly. I'll read the light print, if you could please respond with the bold. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city that is at unity with itself. To which the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, the assembly of Israel, to praise the name of the Lord. For there are the thrones of judgment, the thrones of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who love you. Peace be within your walls and quietness within your towers. For the sake of my kindred and companions, I pray for your prosperity. Because of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek to do you good. The second reading is from the Romans. Besides this, you know what time it is, how it is now the moment of, for you to wake up from sleep, for salvation is nearer to us now than when we became believers. The night is far gone, the day is near. Let them lay aside the works of darkness and put an armor of light. Let us live honorable as in the days, not in revealing, in drunkenness, not in debauchery and lessons, not quarreling and jealousy. Instead, put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for this flesh of gravity, its desires. The word of the Lord. Thank you. Thank you.
until the day Noah entered the ark, and they knew nothing until the flood came and swept them all away, so too will be the coming of the Son of Man. Then two will be in the field, one will be taken, one will be left. Two women will be grinding meal together, one will be taken, and one will be left. Keep awake, therefore, for you do not know on what day your Lord is coming. But understand this, if the owner of the house had known in what part of the night the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and would not have let his house be broken into. Therefore you also must be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an unexpected hour. The Gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, Christ.